everyone, and welcome back to Book Nook's online story time. Today we'll be reading Dinosaur Bones by Bob Barner. Dinosaurs are gone for good. The last dinosaurs lived 65 million years ago. Dinosaurs became extinct because climate changes made it hard for them to find enough food. Maybe dinosaurs once lived in your neighborhood. The first dinosaur bones were discovered in England in the 1820s. Since then, dinosaur fossils have been found all over the world. Fossils are bones and footprints that have been preserved in the Earth's crust. Dinosaurs had teeth to bite and jaws to chew. The shape of the jaws and teeth helped scientists find out if a dinosaur was a meat or plant eater. Dinosaurs with sharp teeth, like this T-Rex, were meat eaters. They walked the earth when those bones were new. Tyrannosaurus rex means king of tyrant lizards. Its arms were so short it couldn't even scratch its chin. The first T-Rex skeleton was found in Montana in 1902. A T-Rex skull can weigh up to 750 pounds. They had bones for legs and bones for hips. Scientists study the bones to find out more about dinosaurs. Some dinosaurs had hips like birds. Others had hips like lizards. Many dinosaurs were giants, but some were the size of a chicken. Isn't that amazing? Some dinosaurs could be so enormous and some could just be tinier than your pet cat or dog. Dinosaur bones used on long dinosaur trips. Some dinosaurs traveled and hunted in groups or herds. Living in groups helped protect them from predators. Ancient footprints show that baby dinosaurs were often protected from predators by walking in the center of the herd. That's how they stayed safe from other animals who might have been trying to hunt them. They had bones with discs and bones with points. Stegosaurus had pointed bones on its back. Its small head held a brain the size of a walnut. That's a pretty small brain for that big body. Bones for running with sockets and joints. Stegosaurus spent most of the time munching plants to feed its huge body. It used the spikes on its tail to fight attacks from meat-eating dinosaurs like Allosaurus. Today, only bones are left to show. Triceratops had a skull one-third the length of its body. That's huge! It gathered plants with its turtle-like beak and chewed food with teeth in the back of its mouth. But dinosaurs rumbled and creaked long, long ago. Triceratops means three-horned face. This plant eater was generally peaceful. However, it used its long horns to fight when attacked. Triceratops was one of the last dinosaurs to exist. Scientists put together dinosaur bones like a puzzle. They used chisels, diamond saws, and dental drills to remove the bones from rock. The skeletons are held together with metal wire and pipes. So, when you see dinosaur bones at a museum in town, remember, a dinosaur once used them to get around. Brachiosaurus weighed more than 10 elephants. It was one of the heaviest and longest dinosaurs. A hungry Brachiosaurus used its long neck to reach tender leaves at the tops of trees. Look at all of these different dinosaurs, all different shapes and sizes. The Triceratops has the three horns. T-Rex has the short arms and the very heavy skull. Brachiosaurus has the super long neck and is very tall, about 40 feet tall. Then you have Parasaurolophus, Stegosaurus with the spikes, Euoplocephalus, Spinosaurus, and this little tiny one, Compsognathus. That's not even five feet tall. 
Here you can see that the T-Rex and the Spinosaurus were meat eaters. The Stegosaurus, Triceratops, and Brachiosaurus were plant eaters. The end.